Hello students, I am going to show you a really quick search in Google Scholar. This is not your regular Scholar, it is uh, part of Google that actually limits to scholarly journals and different documents online uh, that you could use for your, some of your papers. Uh, most professors will want you to use the databases, but let me go ahead and show you how you can link Google Scholar to the databases. So I'm going to go ahead and click on settings. Now I've already set this up earlier this evening so you'll probably see um, I'm clicking here now from settings to library links and I'm going to type in Houston Baptist University you can do this for whatever college you're going to in this case I'm working for Houston Baptist so this is what we're going to type in and I'm going to search this journal sorry search the search to this uh, and set the settings for the library from Houston Baptist University. So um, I've already got it set on Houston Baptist University ProQuest full text and also Houston Baptist University Moody Library full text finder from HBU. Now I'm going to go ahead and save that, those uh, limits to those uh, databases or to the links to the databases from ProQuest and EBSCO. EBSCO will also um, link to other databases um, like science tracks and such like that. So let me go ahead and show you really quickly if you go up to the let me close this little message here. If you go down to the bottom and open about Google Scholar it does say that Google Scholar provides a simple way to broadly search for scholarly literature. From one place you can search across many disciplines and sources articles, theses, books, abstracts, court opinions, from academic publishers, professional societies, online repositories, universities, and other websites. So this is one reason you might want to use Google Scholar over just regular Google. It mentions the features and then how documents are ranked. Then if you want to, you can go to the top and read about the metrics and how it's pulling up all of the uh, metadata and articles that you're searching. Okay, so let me go ahead and go into searching Google Scholar. And but that's more about, about so I'm just going to take this button and click on Search Scholar. And we've already limited to Houston Baptist University. And I want to use the advanced search. So let's see if I can get to that from here. Yes, there's a drop down menu. I'm going to use the advanced search for Google Scholar, which gives me this wonderful little um, search screen that lets me search. Uh, by all the words within this text box here or by an exact phrase or where it says at least one of these words so basically it's putting ors the boolean opera or between each word uh, or without the words so I could actually use this as like a not boolean, boolean operator and I'm going to limit these uh, retrieved items to 2000 and let's say 2011 to 2016 Depending on your topic, you may not want to do that. And let's see what I want to do. Let's just come down to where it says one of these words, and I'm going to say I want the word athlete, athletes, sports, let's see, sports, or athletic. I don't care which one. And let's, uh, let's go ahead and make the athletics. And I want the exact, well, all, let's say with all the words, I'm going to say coping. Um, and let's say the word study, I want that there. And I do want, let's see, the word injury. So I'm going to go ahead and type injury here. And using Google Scholar before, I did uh, find out that when I type in the word injury, it will also look up the word injuries and also coping might bring me in um, the word cope. So we're just going to leave those just like they are and we're going to run our search. Now you could come down and say anywhere in the article and decide where you want it to search, the title of the article. I'm going to leave it like it is and we're going to ask Google Scholar to search the web um, and also link to Houston Baptist University um, database websites. Okay, so now you can see the string up on the top of the page. 
and you can see the limits are here. I'm going to take off the patents, but I do like these citations. And you've got websites over here where you actually can go in and find some of these articles without actually going to HPU. Now this first one here, Psychological Predictors of Sports Injuries Among Junior Soccer Players, I don't see a link to HPU. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this more right here to see if it'll bring me the full text finder at HBU. I want to also show you that you've got other um, things that are interesting over here. You've got a link here to all the different um, documents or articles that have cited this article from the Journal of Medicine and Science and Sports from 2011. You've got related article links and it looks like there's different versions and this will help you cite it. Make sure that you use uh, check that against your uh, style manual. So let's go ahead and click on Full Text Finder from HBU. We're needing 2011 Journal of Medicine and Science and Sports. And for some reason it's not linking. So I'd have to fill out this interlibrary loan to get to the full text of this article. And just for fun, I'm going to copy the name of this journal. Let's see if I can get it. And I'm going to Control C it, copy it, and open a new tab and go to the uh, Houston Baptist University website, hbu.edu slash moody. And I'm going to scroll down uh, past the picture of the library and go look and see if we have this journal. So I'm scrolling down. It's taking its sweet time going there. And I'm going to scroll down uh, pass the picture to these nine wonderful boxes here to publication locator and I'm just gonna take a chance and see if this journal might be actually in a database even though it's not linking and it says no results were found so I'm going to go back to this Google um, Scholar website and I will just click on this fill out the interlibrary loan form and put my information in there and then I would scroll down further and you can see all of the metadata for that article has been already been placed in the form for you and then you would just come down and submit that down here on the bottom left and it will go to Kristen Fancer, Interlibrary Loan Librarian. We do need to say to, that she needs five to ten days to get that article for you um, but she usually gets it quicker than that and you just never know with summer and different times of the year somebody might be on vacation on the other side on the other end um, wherever we do find that article if it comes to the library you'll be asked to come pick it up or she'll try to enter library i'm sorry she'll try to email it to you if she if she can do that so let me close the form and i'm going to go back to google scholar and you can see let's try another one there's a book that's listed you would have to go to our catalog and see if we have the title, search by title in the catalog. You saw the little boxes I just clicked on for publication locator and see if we have that uh, book. Okay, so here's another one to high school and college level football and that's the ACL uh, reconstruction and that's a study. I don't see the full name of the, this look like I see the whole full name of the journal article, but it's 2012 from SAGE. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this full text finder here, but I might actually get the full the full thing from here from the Sage Pub. So I'm going to click on it. Now remember, I'm on campus, so it might link to articles um, easier when I'm on campus. It looks like I've got the article. Let's see, unless it asks me to pay for it. There's my abstract results, footnotes, and how to cite it. I'm looking for the PDF link. Here's a PDF um, free to you right here. You can click on that. Let's see what happens. And it looks like it is opening up that article in uh, the American Journal of Sports Medicine. And there you go. There's your PDF of that article. Different parts and all the references also. So let me go ahead and go back. And that was just clicking on the link to SagePub. I could also go here. Let's see what happens when I click on this. And then it's giving me the link straight to Sage, and that's how I would get into that. Now, if you're off campus, you might be asked to log in. You would use the same login password that you use for the my.hbu.edu website.
to get into the databases. So let me scroll back and let's see. We've got some other articles here that you can see. So this is basically how to use Google Scholar. Sometimes you'll get a link if you won't get you can click on this more and you'll try the full text. You might get it, you might not. Here's your other another link. And then you've got this other link here, PDF and ResearchNet, ResearchGate.net. And you might get the full article if the, the uh, person who wrote it is giving them permission to, uh, to uh, give it to everyone out there on the web for free. Or you might get a, a, a link to request the author to send it to you for, for, uh, for free. So just uh, be aware that that might happen to you. The, Google, the uh, databases will allow you to limit to peer-reviewed scholarly journal uh, articles right away and also to the full text. Okay, I hope you enjoyed um, uh, seeing how the Google Scholar works. It is great when you don't know the exact words to use and maybe there's no one around to help you. You can try that, but do try the databases. And I will say goodbye at this point. Oh, let me go ahead and just run uh, another search here. Let's just try another really quick search. I'm going to try the red convertible. And this is by um, Erdrich. Erdrich, I believe it is, Luis. And let's see, let's say criticism. Let's see if we get anything with that search. And I put red and convertible in quotes because I wanted it to be read as a phrase. And I did get some articles. So you would have to go look at these and see if they're something you could use. I would suggest using the uh, HBU OneSearch, but I did want you to show you that you can try uh, using Google Scholar for um, criticism on different short stories or novels or whatever you're researching. You can also limit to websites like .edu's if you'd like to. This uh, short story I think was in a, a book called uh, Medicine Live. So if you see um, articles that are talking about the author, criticism, and I think it's Medicine Live, then you'll be able to look at those and see if you see any more in there about the red convertible. Okay, so let me go ahead and sign out here and be done for this, uh, this section of a video on Google Scholar.